concept we can ensure the security of our information system so cia the full form is c for confidentiality i for integrity and a for availability so these are the three term we have you have to have idea about what is confidentiality what is integrity and what is availability so confidentiality means nothing but only authorized people only authorized party can view the content view the asset okay suppose if you uh, you have an information if any unauthorized person see that information then that information going to lose its confidentiality suppose you are typing your uh, banking password while you are withdrawing money from the atm booth if any person through shoulder surfacing surfing if someone see your password or pin number then your pin number going through <coughs> going to lose its confidentiality or you are sending a secret message another person in between you and that person if a middleman see that message then your message is going to lost its confidentiality that means confidentiality means only the authorized parties can view here view what is important then the next one is integrity integrity means only the authorized parties can modify only the authorized parties can modify okay so like uh, suppose you are the hr manager okay you have access in the salary panel so you can upgrade uh, any employee salary after getting permission from the pro proper authority but without you if any employee change his or her salary from the database that will be lost of integrity okay so that means only the authorized parties can modify the asset and the last one is availability what does it mean availability only the authorized parties can access the system here main important keyword is use or access the system suppose think about that we are the user of ibt automation system but according to our accessibility we can access different part of the system like by using my username and password as faculty i can use i can access result module attendance module but by using a student access you cannot get uh, you, you will not be able to enter into this panel isn't it so availability means authorized parties can use or access the system so these are the three things confidentiality integrity and availability let me summarize confidentiality means only the authorized parties can view integrity means only the authorized parties can modify and availability means only the authorized parties can get access or use the system so these three concepts are clear to you yes sir that means if you want to claim my information system secure enough then you have to preserve these three parameter but nowadays by using only these three parameters you cannot claim my information system is secure because now it is we are using internet okay because of the internet number of vulnerability arise that's why to protect our system only a that cia not enough that's why a iso international standard standardization or standard standardization organization they basically add two parameter with that cia okay they said that only cia not enough as we are using internet nowadays with our computer that's why you have to think about authentication as well as non repudiation what is authentication and what is non repudiation so authentication means the ability of a system to confirm the identity of a 
sender authentication we have we follow different types of authentication policy like password based authentication policy biometric authentication policy okay password authentication policy means actually what to enter into the system you have to give your username and password biometric you can use your fingerprint retina scanner voice recognition face recognition these are nothing but authentication system okay so whenever a user going to use a system at first system need to authenticate the user after that according to the accessibility user will be able to access the system that is called authentication then the next one is no yeah, please this is the standard standard code this is the standard code so according to that standard they basically introduce this two term authentication or non repudiation like you can see uh, what is the standard of there is the standard of uh, bluetooth there is a standard of other uh, technology like infrared okay iso basically give them standard okay so there, there is a code for that okay so same way for this standard they give on code all right this is nothing but a code for the standard all right uh, that is the thing okay then what is basically non repudiation non repudiation means nothing but the accountability and what is accountability do you have any idea what is accountability means in bangla it is called jawab dihita accountability sometimes we say you are accountable for that okay that means liable responsible okay R right so according to this uh, parameter if any sender send any document to another person it will be recorded it will be what recorded later on that person will not be able to deny like when we send email to another person on that time later on you cannot deny it okay that means a accountability means all of your online footprint will be recorded okay all of your online footprint will be recorded where you are going which website you are vis visiting what operation you are doing what trigger you are pressing okay everything will be recorded okay so that is nothing but the accountability so these two parameter introduced by iso later on a us department of defense okay according to this uh, organization they said that okay so a cia plus this authentication and accountability these five parameters are not enough to ensure the security of the information system we have to consider the auditability of the system so what is auditability auditability means nothing but a audit the information system in a routine basis in a routine basis you know that like what happened those who are the financial organization they need to audit they need to perform financial audit at the end of the financial year same way a uh, different bank especially bank okay they basically perform the audit for their information system so that audit team what they do they basically go through or observe or analyze the whole information system and they try to find out what are the vulnerabilities available here they list down those problem and they mention the possible solution after that they prepare a report they hand over the report to the bank authority okay so this kind of auditing you need to perform in a regular basis this auditing is not a end journey it is not one time work you have to perform this auditing in a regular basis because technology are upgrading hacker uh, which method which strategy they followed maybe uh, before 10 years the same technology they are not using they are upgrading the technology they are upgrading their technique okay so for that reason you have to audit your information system in a regular interval okay so these are the six parameter you have to consider to ensure the security of your information system these are confidentiality integrity availability authentication non repudiation and 
auditability okay this cia tried this is a very old uh, sec uh information security model okay framework but it's a classical one what does it mean other security framework <clears throat> which we are using now they basically derive from this cia okay whatever the framework you will develop in future definitely you need support from this cia confidentiality integrity and availability must in any security framework that's why it is called classical security framework okay so this concept clear to you what is cia tried authentication means nothing but uh, check the authenticity of a user as user whether you are uh, authenticate to log into the system or not that is nothing but authentication for that reason we basically follow different technique like as i have said password based authentication process okay biometric authentication process okay these are basically uh, help us to uh, identify a user okay whether the user is genuine user for the system or not i will get to you okay. without authentication your friend may see your result from the result panel okay without with, without authentication anyone can access my uh, what is a faculty panel okay uh, they may basically give the result they may give the give the attendance isn't it? that's the authentication is important here is that clear to you yeah. oh, okay so i guess it is clear now the next topic let me discuss about the next topic a harm can also be characterized by four acts. That means whatever the harmful activity hacker basically perform, we classify them into th four categories. Okay. Whatever the harmful activity or harmful attack or cyber crime basically happening, we can categorize them into four categories. Am I clear to you? So now we're going to learn about them. Basically, in this lecture, first part, in the first part, you will learn different types of attack, different types of computer crime. In the second part, you will learn different type, types of a defensive mechanism, different types of technology, how we can prevent this attack. Okay. As we're in the first part now, so let's see uh, what are the basically acts are available here. Okay. So first of all, interception. What is interception? You can see the picture. Interception means, suppose here is the sender and here is the receiver. So sender sending information to the receiver and this is the normal path, okay? But here we have a hacker. Okay, while sender sending the information to the receiver, this hacker basically tapping the signal. You know what is tap tapping? In your previous class, I told you what is tapping. Anyone tell me? Tap tapping. I told you the phone call tap, isn't it? Two person doing the conversation. And somehow a uh, hacker uh, basically hack the uh, thing, all right, uh, trap the signal, okay. So this is called nothing but the interception. Is that clear to you, interception? Guys, I need your response. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Interception. Okay. Okay, then the interruption. Interruption is clear. You are sending, suppose here you are sender and here you have your receiver. Okay, so hacker somehow, hacker basically create a block, blockage. Okay, create a blockage. 
so you will not be able to send the message to the what receiver okay hacker basically create block okay he may down your server hacker may down your server then your client computer will not be able to communicate with the server computer so this is the technique interruption think about the dos attack when the dos attack happen on that time hacker basically follow this interruption method okay interruption clear yes sir then what is the difference in between interception and interruption the difference is interception in interruption in interception technique uh, i mean server and client computer or sender or receiver they can communicate but hacker basically getting the information without having their concern okay but in the interruption technique what is happening a sender and receiver they will not be able to communicate in between them because hacker basically creating a block in between them now the modification what is modification hacker basically going to send sorry a sender going to send what a sender going to send his circle to the receiver okay so when basically in between them there is a hacker so when hacker basically get the message like a sender going to send what a this circle to the receiver then he basically change the shape you can see he basically change the information and forward to the what receiver okay the receiver he is thinking that or she is thinking that okay so sender send this rectangle to me but actually the sender send a circle okay that means whatever the information sender going to send that will be modified by the hacker and then forwarded to the receiver so this is called nothing but the modification am i clear to you yes sir suppose i'm i i'm going to circulate a, a message to you maybe a notice to you in the notice i write down next two days i am not going to take your uh, i i'm going to conduct your classes but someone basically uh, i mean trap the signal and he basically modified okay maybe next 10 days i'm not going to take the classes and forward the message to you guys okay so this is nothing but the modification all right then the next one is fabrication fabrication means actually what adding some uh, information with the existing one adding some information with the existing one okay that is nothing but the fabrication okay suppose uh, think about a software so in the back end we have some line of code in the software so hacker what he can do he can add his code with the existing code of that software then software will not be able to perform its normal task it will be controlled by the hacker okay this is nothing but the fabrication nothing but the fabrication adding some information or content with the existing one that is called fabrication so these four concepts are clear to you yes sir sir okay. but uh, what is our difference between modification and fabrication in modification hacker usually basically trap the signal of the sender and then modify with his own choice and then forwarded it to the receiver okay in this case he basically modifying the whole thing and fabrication he is not modifying the thing modifying anything not modifying modifying means actually what changing but a fabrication he is not changing anything he just adding his content with the existing one am i clear to you yes sir, yes, sir. okay all right um, that is it okay so uh, now can you tell me for this inter interception for the interception which thing basically hamper confidentiality integrity or availability for interception availability interception availability 
what is what, what is the problem sender can send the information to the receiver they can do the communication so availability is okay the confidentiality confidentiality right right confidentiality right now you understand okay for the interception a, a system going to loss is confidentiality okay good then uh, for interception the availability good interception is availability interception interception is availability right ha huh. system will not be available server down so system not available okay then modification the confidentiality now modification is not, in, in not confidentiality it is basically integrity 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 means bishuddhata all right that means whatever the message sender going to send that one is basically modified and forward it to the receiver so for modification you are going to lose the integrity okay all right and for this fabrication also the integrity okay integrity mainly the integrity okay so because of this act these properties will be compromised okay this is not why So this is clear to you. Is this clear to you? Yes, sir. Okay. So the, I may ask that, like, a, what are the different harmful act done by the hacker? Explain them. Okay, with figure or with an example. Clear. Okay, if it is clear, then let's go forward. Okay, now we will learn different types of threat. Okay, we will learn about different types of threat. You can see that whatever the threat we have, we can classify them into two categories. One is natural cause, another one is human cause. Natural cause means nothing but a flood, then earthquake, fire breakout, power failure. These are nothing but natural causes. On the other hand, human causes, we can divide into two categories again. One is benign intended, another one is malicious. Benign means in unintentional. And malicious means intentional okay threat so what are the unintentional threat think about the human error human error you are going to type one thing you type another thing by using your keyboard human error okay so we we must be careful about the human error but we cannot use any technology for that uh, but on the other hand the malicious intended uh, which is basically we can categorize them into two category random and direct a random means, let me give an example, then it will be much more clear to you. Suppose you create a website and in your website, you basically upload some PDF file. You are the hacker. So what you did, you basically attach some virus with that PDF file and you are giving free download to your client. So whenever your client downloading that PDF file, they are not only downloading the PDF file, but also they're downloading the virus. Okay. So in this case, any person who going to use your web, uh, visit your website and download the uh, PDF book, they are your, they are the victim. So in this case, victim is not specified. It is random. On the other hand, in the direct, what happened? A hacking group, they basically select a person. They basically select an organization. And after that, they initiate their attack. Think about Bangladesh Bank Haze 2016. On that time, a Korean hacking group, they basically took 800 crore taka from our reserve. So this is nothing but the example of direct threat. Okay, that is the thing. So this is the classification of threat. Is it clear to you? Yes, sir. Okay. Very good.
Now we will discuss about different types of malicious software. Malicious software. So uh, a uh, malicious software means actually what? Malicious means harmful. So now we are going to learn about some harmful software. Okay, so first of all, you can see virus. Do you have any idea what is the full form of virus? Anyone? V I R U S. Virus. Vital information resources under CIS. Okay. V for vital, I for information, R for resources, U for under, S for C's. You know what is C's? Sir, as like, sir, uh, sir, overall. In Bangla, basically, it is called Baje uh, Aptopara. All right. Sometimes you can say Dudo. Okay. Uh, they basically seize the prevention property, isn't it? Property of others. Okay. So that is nothing but what? A seize. Uh, mm. All right. So, vital information resources under CIS. S I E G E C S. All right. Now, a biological virus and this computer virus, these two things are not basically the same, they are different. But they have what? Some common characteristics. Like a biological virus, they need a host to survive, isn't it? Without a host, biological virus cannot survive. Like think about a corona or other viruses. Same way, this computer virus attach themselves with another file. Maybe audio file video file, text file. So they attach themselves with what? Another document, virus, clear? First characteristics. Yes, sir. Second one, virus, they cannot activate themselves. They need human interaction to perform their harmful activity. If any file infected by the virus, that virus will not be activated until or unless you open that infected file. But once you install the infected file, on that time, virus start its harmful activity. That means without human interaction, virus cannot perform its harmful activity. Second point. Okay. Third point, virus basically what a uh, they cannot replicate themselves they cannot replicate themselves replicate means actually what they cannot make their own copy okay then for fourth point virus cannot travel over the network virus cannot travel over the network okay if one computer infected by the virus with that computer, if any other computer connected through the network, virus will not be able to travel over the network. But through pen drive, through download, virus may spread out from one computer to another computer, but they cannot travel over the network. Okay. When your computer infected by the virus, then you are going to see where it... <clears throat> Performance variation of your 
website or system okay it may take a long time to start your computer it may take a long time to uh, shut down your computer okay your from your database your data might be gone your server may be crash okay or they may blackmail you okay so this type of thing virus is going to okay so is it clear to you what is virus and what are the common characteristics of the virus yes sir virus is nothing but a small software okay but malicious software used by the hacker okay then the next one is worm worms are much more dangerous than the virus because worm they can perform their activity without human interaction worm they cannot perform their activity without human in uh, sorry they can perform their activity with the, without human interaction that means somehow a worm enter into your computer now it is going to do number of harmful activity with its own then second thing worm can replicate themselves they can make their own copy third thing they can travel over the network that means uh, in your network you have 50 computer one computer infected by worm automatically other 50 computers will be infected okay so you can easily understand how much dangerous this one is so in this world whatever the big attack so far you experience cyber attack we experience all of them done by the a uh, worm okay then the next one is trojan horses a trojan virus or trojan horse they basically seems that they are friendly software useful software but once you install it then it will start its harmful activity that's why sometimes a uh, even the antivirus cannot detect them antivirus also think that it's a helpful software so it cannot detect detect the trojan horse it's separated okay but the main concept is this type of software you may think that these are very helpful software, but once you install it, then it may play a role as a spyware or other bad task it will do in your computer. Okay. So this is Trojan horse. Then the SQL injection attack. What is that? Usually when the attacker want to get access in the database, they use the SQL injection attack. By using login panel they inject the sql script structured query language eh? sql so in the database when hacker wants to get bypass the admin panel they inject malicious sql script through the login panel that is called inject okay so uh, this is the main thing uh, whenever Hacker want to uh, attack your database on that time they're going to use this one then the spyware from the name you can easily understand this kind of software going to track down your online activity online footprint why why you are visiting why you are going it can track down everything and in a regular interval it is going to send uh, information to the hacker okay spyware it will uh, i mean monitor all of your online surfing then the next one keylogger keylogger basically what it can record all of your keystroke it can record all of your key stroke by using keyboard what are you what you are typing it can record maybe in a what a uh, file i mean note note file okay then in a regular interval they send the uh, file to the hacker so when we type any password we use the keyboard when we write an email we use the keyboard so if any software able to track down or record my keystroke uh, on a paper i mean the note notepad later on hacker can see that notepad and easily he can understand or she can understand what is my username what is my password okay then uh, what email i am sending what email uh, basically, I am writing this kind of information easily they can get. 
so keylogger okay so these are the six malicious software so is that clear to you virus worm trojan horse sql injection spyware and keylogger clear yes sir Okay, hacker, we know who are the hacker. Then, okay, in the next uh, topic is basically different types of computer crime. Uh, in our next class, we will discuss this topic. Huh? Uh, different types of computer crime we will discuss in our next class. But remember mm -hmm. one thing, uh, in our examination, how far we cover from the lecture number six till this topic will be included in your midterm examination. Okay. Uh, if we're not able to finish the whole lecture, then how far you cover? According to that, uh, we're going to define your midterm examination syllabus. When we get our routine. Uh, this time, this time uh, the date, announce, date will be announced by the uh, authority, university authority. All right. That's why we have to wait. Maybe within, uh, I mean, uh, like one or two days, they're going to announce the date. Then I will... Maybe, maybe this time, maybe you have to give exam like that. Not like final examination, like there will be no seat plan. But this time they are going to basically schedule the exam. Okay. So that you see. Man, I'm going to take your exam. They're just going to give the schedule. Okay. All right. Everything will be remain same, but they're going to uh, give the schedule so that they can uh, yeah, number of examination you have to give in the, at the same day. Sometimes it happened that three, three examinations you have to give the same day. So to avoid that problem, this time uh, they are doing this thing. It's a good initiative. Okay, so uh, in our next class, we will discuss about different types of computer crime. Okay, that is the fact. And after that, we will discuss about how we can prevent this problem. Okay, solution. Okay. Till this slide number a uh, 24, we have problem. And after 25 and honors, then we have the solution. Okay. This is the thing. Okay. So uh, do you guys have any question regarding today's class? In our today's class, we learned three important topic. First of all, CIA tribe, very important one. We learned about four. Harmful act done by the hacker. All right. And third, we learn uh, what a uh, okay. So types of threat and number four topic we learn different types of malicious software. Okay. So please go through the topic at your home. Any question, anyone? Regarding this lecture. Sorry, Poshnogulus sir, keep it. As I have said, like I may tell that okay, so explain the CIA trite, okay, or what type of harmful activity done by the hacker. Explain that four acts, okay, or what what are the differences uh, among virus, worm, or trojan horse, okay. So this type of question you may get, clear? Okay. Now. Let Assignment related. Assignment ki amra mane. Je din exam udhi ni jama the. Ah, assignment right. Okay, thank you for your concern. Assignment you have to give the hard copy in the examination day. Okay, on the examination day, please submit it. Okay, hard copy. Sir, arakta kotha. Cheto the amra je opera the je ain gula. Mane proyog gula. E gula to sir jaman hote. Protomi Lekhas is a Duyazan Noy I near Aotahuce and Kurve. Talikamra Duyazan Noy Shaler, a Harar I near Progdaki, Ekanelik Donaki, just taken as a Progulus should do Gulelik. It's better if you explore more. Okay, if you Palomoto would explore or lick the I will appreciate definitely. Okay, but at least we took Lik and Jetahoce Amad documented the asset. You are going to share with open the truth the asset. That's what I mean. Okay, highly honored. Right, right. Yes, yes. Sir, can I see, sir? What, what? Sir, assignment, sir. 
I uploaded this one a long ago in my Google Classroom. Go to the Google Classroom and. Sir, but I I have some three columns, sir. Okay, no problem, no problem. Your rep representation might be different. You would like to show your assignment? Yes, sir. Okay, hi. You can show. Definitely, you can show. I'm stopping my share. Let me show you one. Uh, I don't know. Huh? I don't know yet. Uh, okay, so let me read it. Uh, access. This is the crime. Punishment up to three years. Then fine amount up to good, very good. Okay, so in this, uh, and point uh, the point. This one, then this is the crime, this is the punishment. Imprisonment punishment and this is the financial punishment. Okay. It will be much more detail. Yes. Okay. Just a minute. Let me log into my panel. Yeah, I can hear you. Definitely, definitely, it will be better, much better. Aro comprehensive of it. Yes, sir. Aro shunung mukab shik darwin. Definitely, I appreciate. Okay. It will help you a lot. Okay, take this assignment sincerely. To the assignment it will help you a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Hmm, right. Uh, so this this basically going to uh, help you to preserve your right. Okay. Or the problem is that I'm not for an Eva Pare up like a Harana with Jabi. Ki Kora Jabi, Ki Kora Jabana. All right. Mm. Mm, right, right. Okay, all right. So now, uh, uh, can you see my uh, attendance panel? Yes, sir. Okay, now please respond to your serial. Serial number one. Yes, sir. Serial number two. Yes, sir. Three. Four. Five. Yes, sir. Six. Yes, sir. Seven. Sir, four present, sir. Uh, four present, na? Seven present, seven. Serial number seven. More shade. Four, sir. Four present, sir. Oh, four present. Okay, all right. More shade absent. Okay. Then, uh, serial number eight. Yes, sir. Nine. Yes, sir. Ten. Okay. 